Hi guys, welcome to Family Create. I hope you're all doing well. So today uh, we're going to do a quick route test and a track back test uh, with the watch Ultra. So we're starting at 61% and we'll test the route. Uh, because it's dual band GPS, we'll see how accurate it is and we'll do a route track back as well. We'll also check uh, how much battery uh, the test eats up. Just to mention, we got the watch on the 23rd of July. This is day six. So my husband will set the GPS and we'll set off. Okay, so I've had this watch for about six days now and I had this orange, the dark titanium one with the orange um, accents and orange strap. Uh, the watch, I have to say, initially I was uh, not really sure, especially especially this orange one, I wasn't keen on at all anyway, but I've got the white one on order as well. But, but in the six days I've had this watch, um, I have to give some good feedback about this watch on how it's going for me so far. I'm considering I'm coming from Galaxy Watch uh, Classic uh, 6. Previous, prior to that I had the Watch 5 Pro as well. One of my big things was about the concerns about this watch was that the lack of uh, physical rotating bezel, which this one doesn't have. So it's been interesting um, for me to come to terms with uh, not having the rotating bezel and to see how I can use this watch without it. Especially since I did like the rotating bezel on the Watch 6 Classic, but I did hate the fact the Watch 5 Pro had a digital bezel. So this one came, has come back to uh, digital bezel. But in the six days, in the experiences uh, I've had so far, I really like the, um, the digital bezel on this, on this particular watch. It seems to be far more accurate. Uh, with the Watch 5 Pro, it was very sort of flimsy. You couldn't pinpoint where you want to stop to. But this one actually, even if I'm writing, some, you know, writing a message or something, I want to stop at a point. It's quite you stop, like you can stop and decide where you want to stop. And it seems to work really well, the rotating bezel. Um, so to be honest, I haven't missed the rotating bezel at all. And I think obviously because this is a um, rugged watch, uh, there was a reason for Samsung probably not to include the rotating bezel for, especially for durability and uh, you know, with the extreme conditions and supposed to be sort of used in extreme conditions like heat, underwater and in dusty situations or sandy situations. So, so yeah, I can understand that. But I was still not sure why they didn't put it on, especially because I was thinking that, that will ruin the watch's operation. But that so far hasn't been the case. The digital rotating bezel actually works really well on this watch. Just to mention also, with the digital rotating bezel, with this one in particular, you can actually hear a click of each rotation. I think which is also really nice because you can hear the click as the screen is moving. I think that makes it almost physical, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you can hear the clicking noise on this on this video because of the noise in the background because we're in a very busy place. But we will actually maybe cover this in a separate little video showing how that sort of works. It is really satisfying, uh, the clicky sound. It almost feels like the rotating bezel because of the way it clicks. Not just how it clicks, the haptics on the watch is absolutely brilliant. I have to say, in all of the Samsung watches I've had before, Galaxy watches, never has there been a haptic as good as this watch. I mean, this is, you know, in terms of how it vibrates and when you're going, when you're navigating using, using the rotating bezel, when you're doing anything really, the haptic, especially if there's a call coming or if you've got a notification coming, the way it vibrates, it's not just loud, but it's kind of really smooth and comfortable to sort of listen to. So hence I say very uh, satisfying uh, haptic. And I know this may look really big on my on my wrist, so that's that's an issue. But to be honest, I, as, even if it looks as big as it does, I think I'm really liking it. And I have to say, I've been wearing it um, for sleep as well each of the nights. It's really comfortable using it during sleep. So, you know, you think such a big watch, it may be problematic or not. But no, I, it's been quite comfortable actually, uh, despite its bigger size. Other than that, the battery life has also, we've had, like I said, we've had it for, for about six days now. So it's done its learning process. Let's have a look quickly. Currently it's on 61%. Um, it wasn't fully charged, to be honest. I only charged it till about, to about 75. So if we go in there, we can have a look. 
it's given us 21 hours or nearly 22 hours with, with 61 percent left and in terms of usage um, i'm not applying any special battery saving modes or anything like that so guys i'll do a separate video on battery um, because it's obviously a very interesting subject that everyone's really keen on but just to give you an idea, yesterday we done a lot of walking and we had the GPS on for about one and a half hour and that took a, a roughly 10% of the battery. So it's extremely promising with the battery. And also to mention, uh, yesterday was I think 43 Celsius, so it was so hot and we were out and about. And just to mention uh, about, um, if you just look at the strap, the strap is um, really good in terms of comfort. But I think with the heat, as you can see, it's kind of uh, coloured up. So I'm not really sure what to say about that. But um, I didn't think something this expensive, the strap would um, kind of, in the heat, get a bit, um, not be colour resistant. I don't know whether the um, colour that he attracted, whether it's the sun or the clothes. But I, I would expect the strap to not to... Um, take into color like that. Coming back to the battery very quickly. So yeah, in the six days, without going into any detail, overall, it's giving me about. Uh, I'm just using it purely 100% on always on display, and it's giving me about one close to two days, close to two days with full always on display. That's still lower than my expectation. We're going to do a quick test of the the dual band GPS that comes with this watch. Uh, so we're going to go on a walk, and we're going to see how quickly the GPS turns on. Or connects and also we're gonna do a root feature and then track back to see the accuracy of that so let me just quickly uh, set that up then um, so that just I just go into Samsung Health I go into I think, exercise if I go into again I could use the bez rotating bezel for the see this is what I mean it's, you can really control this now um, whereas the other one was really like difficult to do there it is so yeah walking so we're going to just set this let this run so now this is the sort of workout screen you get the duration then everything else here your heart rate um, average one thing i did want to quickly have a look at track back so look so, so the track back feature is there now um, so we're going to try that so GPS is already connected, like you can see. It's auto paused as well. So that's, I've noticed the auto pause feature really works well. And it detects um, very precisely when you stop and move. So let's let's move now and see, see what it does. Because we're not walking yet, so it's stopped. But the GPS is already connected and we are indoors at the moment. Okay, um, just to tell you guys, we're away at the moment, so it's quite difficult to do any recording. I'm actually um, doing this as a raw footage and I'm just going to upload because if I wait to edit, it'll take a long time with the video on. So, so um, if we just have a quick look, it's now running because we just started walking. And we'll do, yeah, we'll probably walk for 10 minutes and see, and then we'll try and track back to get a good picture of overall accuracy of the dual band GPS. Um, yesterday, I uh, will show you a screenshot of our uh, yesterday when we did the uh, tracking, GPS tracking and how accurate it was. And it actually coped really well uh, with uh, a place where we were really crowded and moving about, but it did really well. So we'll show you that at the end of the video. So once we've gone a bit further down, we'll um, come back. By the way, we're in Mecca and we don't really know this place very well. So as we're exploring, we really, really uh, found it very useful using the track back. And this is something that we wanted with the classic, six classic, but that was taken away and we were really disappointed with that. So really pleased that it's back with the Ultra. So it's um, almost 7 a.m. in the morning and temperature is 31. Um, it's going to be another extremely hot day. Seven minutes, just see how the battery is doing. It's gone down to... 59%. So it's lost a couple of percent? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just to mention also, we've actually put the... Uh, we've ordered the white one, that was our first choice. But um, that's not due to come till 9th of August. And we really wanted a, the watch to take away with us. So we ordered whatever was available, which was that one for us. And we've got that on the 23rd 
of July and today is day six of the watch so um, once the white one comes through we'll give you another we'll do another quick video just to show you which one we think is the best in terms of color and suitability of the wrist I think the black does stand out a lot and uh, of course it's a very big watch and quite thick and looks bulky as well but I think color does make a difference in terms of how it visually looks on the wrist so uh, that's why I was keen on white and so was my husband um, and we've had black watches before as well so the watch very quickly has now paused because we stopped to just provide a quick update as you can see here it says so auto yes yeah, so we've done about 13 and 13 and a half minutes nearly uh, 1299 steps and then you can see heart rate on all that so yeah heart rate zone it's in zone one because we're just walking anyway we're not running or anything um, maximum also you can see all that stuff here and this is dynamic so it changes but in terms of the GPS and we are at uh, what is it 58 percent 58 percent other interesting thing about this watch is obviously it's got very high brightness um, so 3,000 uh, nits of brightness so I am um, today out here is very bright obviously very so it's not sunny but it's very bright obviously and um, it's seven in the morning well just before seven in the morning yeah. but it, ca it does get very bright yeah. as the sun fully comes out you can barely see but the watch has been yeah. incredibly but, bright but the watch isn't my in terms of my brightness it's not even very high as you can see it's set on half so i'm gonna probably make that out a bit, bit more maybe maybe leave it about there so i get a bit more bright brightness this watch face as well uh, it's really nice it's a really nice watch face it's a beautiful watch face actually it's probably the best one samsung's got in the collection for me anyway and i really like this um compass there as you can see um the compass it's always on there so that's always there and that's like i don't know if it's how it impacts the battery but it's there and it's really interesting to have you got so many widgets running here so, so i've got got the compass i've got one i've got the day i've got one two three four of this uh ones in inside the forming a circle and then you have the compass and then you have one two three more in the middle three more in the middle actually yeah three four in the middle i'm uh, sorry nine complications so it's really good this can have so many complications on this watch face um and also as you can see i'm now on the home screen of the watch watch face and you can see this man walking um that's indicating obviously there's a there's an activity happening and if you want to go back to that just one tap and you're back there so we're going to resume now and continue a walk and then provide a little further update a little bit later and see where we are so as you can see straight away it's detected that we're walking again yeah yeah and see when he stops hold on so we stopped let's see how long it takes before he stops it's start to shows the auto pause there you so go. it's recognized it's stopped now about 10 to 15 seconds and yeah. then it shows its auto pause now yeah because okay. it doesn't you don't need to stop immediately because it could be just stopped doesn't mean you stopped your activity yeah we came from this way up like a semicircle now we're going to go all the way around and then back down on the other side of the road see how that gets captured on the route track and we'll show you when we um, get back finally how that shows on the phone itself we're going to go into that cafe, have some tea um, and see in terms of pausing uh, how long it stays paused. It should stay paused because we've tried this before and um, it did stay paused. And then when we resumed again, it started again. So we'll go have a coffee or tea. Yeah, and then uh, we'll resume our track back and uh, sh sh share more with you. The radio would be very interesting. Oh, yeah. I don't think we can. I'm actually, actually finding it quite difficult, guys, because... Um, the pavements and everything it's quite difficult because the, there's no crossings uh, at all no zebra crossings no traffic lights and it's a bit scary okay so standing by the road isn't a good idea because Everyone all the taxis are hailing us thinking we're going to take a taxi okay so um, after that one yeah uh, are we running or Okay, we've made it across. We've just come to the cafe and um, we'll have some tea, take a bit of rest, and then set the track back and show you guys. It looks like it's a Turkish yep. um, cafe. Okay. Okay, let's go in. So we can't play with our watch because Google Pay doesn't work here. 
So it's all cash. So the watch we haven't been able to test in terms of payment. Okay, so we're just sitting in the cafe. It's on auto pause. So yeah, we've done so far 17 minutes 23 seconds, and as you can see, 1593 steps. And time is just four minutes past seven in the morning. Uh, it tells you about your heart rate as well. So you got average of 102 beats uh, per second, uh, 102 beats per minute. And then you got maximum of 116. We went. Uh, it's just a normal walk, so uh, and it's average speed. But when we when we when we stop this, that's when you get the option of track back. We are on 56% battery. We started on what? 61 is it? Just to quickly show you guys, we got the Ford 5 as well. Um, and we love it. It's so nice. We've got the silver. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to do any videos. I did do an unboxing. Uh, the footages got deleted while I transferred over um, devices. And, um, and we're traveling at the moment. So I haven't been able to uh, do anything as we travel um, once we get back I'll uh, try to do some videos on that about our experience and how it's been but at the moment I'm loving it let's open it up and just show you guys so here we go the bezel as you can see that goes around is flat which makes the um, gap between the fold almost invisible which I really like and if you remember with fold 5 there was a little um, bump on each corner to stop the screen from you know closing in too much those bump is non-existent on fold 6 the crease definitely which is amazing. better on this one yeah. the crease is visible you can see but in terms of feeling it's very minimal but the boxy shape of this of the device yeah makes the screen so much more nice, a pleasure yeah. to use both outside and inside this is what particularly I love. inside the frame itself looks kind of frosty and it's not um, shiny like fold 5 which makes this fold um, grippability wise much nicer to hold yeah anyway we'll do a more details video once we get back um, in August at some point so, um, it's extremely hot here I can't even um, explain to you how I'm feeling I've just had tea because I needed something to wake me up uh, straight away followed by uh, ice cold drink as well I guess time for maybe quick uh, comment on the impression of this watch then uh, I have to say this watch is so tough it's so 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 tough um, compared to classic or any other watch. I mean, it looks tough and actually it feels tough. I know some people commented about, oh, it looks plasticky, is it plastic? Uh, no, it's not plastic, believe me. It's, it's very, it's all titanium. Um, I think it's a very tough uh, titanium. What I like about this as well is the, the crystal sapphire glass. You can see where the, where the bezel ring is. It's, it's slight, just slightly raised. Um, uh, the ring is slightly raised so the glass but it's almost nearly flushed and this is what something I really like because it's really nice to use with you especially if you are since you're gonna have to use more of your finger on this because with the watch 6 classic it was quite deep from the bezel so you know it, it, I, I just I think with the classic it was like a bucket shape yeah so. although the classic I love the classic look and all that rotating bezel but that's one thing that that was one of the biggest thing that actually really always annoyed me is how much the bezel was raised from the glass and I know sometimes if I, if I was trying to type a message on this, especially around the edges, you know, it'd be difficult to touch the keypads right at the edge of, of, of the devices. Whereas this one is so flat, it's, it's a really nice and I really like it. So guys, we've just uh, finished our uh, tea and we're going to start heading back. But just to mention, we started at 6.24 um, and it's 7.24 now. So uh, it's been one hour exactly, the GPS has been on. Let's just quickly check the battery situation. So battery is 54%, which is very promising. We'll set our route back and head back, and then um, we'll uh, update you guys. So let's do that. Okay, so now it's telling us, it gives us data of what our walk, this walk contained, 
how long, how many steps and everything else and speed and also so you got all this data here really nice um, your graph you know graphic of the heart rate and the zones you did so we didn't run or anything so the zones are quite low and this is a nice really good feature i like now it measures your vo2 max so as you can see it says 40 41.4 and it's kind of indicating good and you've got this bar there that's really nice in terms of sweat loss and all that it gives you all of this information and it says look you can drink 205 ml to replace 150 percent the next thing here so it's actually detecting while we're walking in terms of um loss from your body yeah as well. yeah yeah which is really good i think I, that's what i think the skin temperature comes in but this is the next bit look so now you've got this route that we just did it's, it's giving a graphic of this really nice um so we started off and yeah, where we are at the moment yeah. so this is a summary of of what we've just done so now for our purpose we want to now do a track back track workout uh this week so i'm going to go in here and if we just see this is the current one we just done today as you can see here travel 1.32 kilometers distance and we're just going to set back now you can see a little map of what we've done it's not it's not a huge amount but 17 18 minutes of work and then here now you can set reverse route so this is the route we just done now we're going to change it to reverse route but we finished up our, uh, our walk here now the reverse route has reversed the map so now our destination point is there where we came from so just as you can see reverse route option here so now we're gonna start and we're gonna head back and we will see how the watch sort of guides us uh, in terms of the route because we don't know the the route really here like so you see how accurately uh, it takes us back and also at the same time how the battery copes and and yeah just generally how it picks up the uh, routes so okay. let's start and go so let's see what happens so we called it track back test so get, it's gathering location we are in, we are inside the cafe street. so let's see if it picks up and how quickly it picks up the location um, considering we are indoors okay still connecting so GPS still connecting because we, we, are, we are inside um, not outside okay it's, uh, i think it's connected Yep, it's connected, yeah, it's connected so course. we can go now. Okay, let's, let's set up. Okay. So it's, as we're leaving... It says, it says it's getting location still. Um, we've just come out of the cafe. We're not so walking. Now, yeah, location detected, so it's just loading. Let's just quickly um, show you this before we actually start walking. So it says walk out the post because we stopped. Maybe we just need to walk. Maybe uh, let it get, let it get um, underway. So the, so the time. 7:39. Yeah. And it, as you can see, it says uh, guidance status. I don't know how we'll figure. Hold on, careful. Let's go. So shoulder. As we move around, it's really good how the sort of compass, not compass, but the map sort of rotates. Can't show it here because we uh, we just need to be able to move. So actually, what I'll do, let's quickly turn around just to show you. See, it's rotating. Yeah, it's very. It's, it's done it really quickly, and then it tells you at the bottom very bright here it's telling you where to go which way to take so it's not just a map um, actually let's come so in a bit. given how bright it is today we still turn on full full brightness as well so as you can see how quickly it sort of picks up that we've moved and it's telling us which way to go so we've got we're gonna walk um, straight down this way yeah there's a green there's a green arrow that's showing us which way to go can you see this little green arrow here okay and then at the bottom it, tell, it tells you which turning to take if there is sound, I can't hear anything at the moment. And then you've got a compass um, icon here as well. I don't know if anything happens if I press on this. Um, uh, when we started, it did tell us to cross the road, but we did, didn't go that way. So we're we going to go. Of, we're going to go straight. We didn't now. do the circle. We're going to go straight because the circle is going up the flyover and round. We're and, just going to go straight. And, and, then, in, and then in 18, 18 meters, he's, in 18 meters, he's saying we should take a sort of a left, left turning. So let's see. Okay, let's go. So as you can see, because we're taking a shorter route, it's saying we're off course. So it's trying to redirect us back onto our route. So let's go and see. It's telling us we're off course. Okay, so and then this was intentional. Yeah, so we're gonna, um, it's showing us off course. So we're gonna go back to the way we came, just so. Um, to see if it guides us um, 
takes us back on the actual route. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, okay come on. Okay. So the fact that we went off course is reducing the distance now so as we're walking. As we're going back on the right track. Yeah. So um, that's a guidance basically to oh, say... Yeah. Back on track, it just said. See, back on track. That's so. really good. So I was trying to see if I can zoom into the map and I, it wasn't working because it was getting me back to all the exercise uh, details. But actually double tapping it has now um, allowed me to sort of zoom in. So I can, we can zoom into the route, route a bit more now. So you can see exactly what's going on. Um, so, so we've actually haven't crossed the road yet and it's giving us direction we can actually go left is it so there's the arrow it's telling us showing us to cross the road here because we've missed the where we crossed the road so let's cross the road so and where's that where's this big round, round thing it's just up there okay so so the round uh, the flyover over there we went circular and we crossed the road uh, uh, just just there so it's and it's telling us basically showing us direction to go straight ahead so we'll cross the road it's telling us how long to go 1.26 kilometer to go yeah. so if we just go, i don't know if i press on this if we just start walking maybe we'll just start yeah okay so let's just start so you can see we're back onto the route that road was a bit of a danger crossing so it's showing 23 meters we need to be going, going straight ahead. yep yeah so let's walk as we walk, it's difficult to show um, because it's mo we're constantly moving. Yeah, so it's basically showing us, and it's we've, zo we've zoomed in, which is. No, 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 I zoomed out again. I've zoomed, zoomed out, again. I've zoomed out, yeah. Okay, so. But, but, you, anyways, but you can zoom in. It's showing step by step, actually, so it's um, quite easy to follow. So, yeah, we just need to so see where that green arrow is. You're following the arrow with the blue line. Yeah. Yeah, because all the green. Green bit is the new bit, the blue is the old. Green bit is the bit we just walked, which was the wrong bit. So we've gone back. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's it saying now? It's just saying, well done, we've done our steps over there, I think. Oh, okay. So now, in one year, so we're turning left here in 72 meters. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so it's showing us, uh, as you can see, that little circle here. So we're gonna we follow in the circle right now. Okay, so let's see. I think I just spotted a mouse. Look. Oh, actually, I think that was a rat. That was huge. That's like one fat mouse there. <laughs> I know. I think it's a rat. It's a rat. Yes. <laughs> that was a bit scary. <laughs> Made me jump there. But anyway, we're back on our truck, and now you can see. Actually, okay. I, I, my head is hurting because when I saw the rat, I jumped and hit my head so, on the yeah, tree. Yeah, so anyway, you can see we're on, following our track now. We follow the blue line. And if I want to zoom, so it's now zoomed out. But if I want to, yeah, I can use the rotating bezel, look, to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, yeah, and you can also sort of use your finger to navigate. So if we just leave it here and continue, come on. And, and the other good thing about this map as well, You've got the road signs, names of all the roads and everything as well, so you know where you are. What are these pink things showing? Uh, it's hotels, I think. It's just indication of different um, hotels. Okay, let's go. We're still following the route, head on. Um, as you can see, guys, here it's really bright. And as you can see the watch, I've got no problem seeing the route and it's actually very bright even on the camera and so it's paused again it does it really instantly which is great so it's not like uh, you're losing out on any time or any distance so it's eight o'clock now and we are 63 meters or 62 meters kind of short of the, our next sort of it's just saying to follow, follow along yeah. but it's following um keeping up with the route uh, very well just to also mention, uh, every so often we get a flash up detail of how many steps we've done. A summary of uh, uh, a summary of our, I think it's the health track. Summary of it? steps, how much distance we covered, or speed. Okay, it's getting very, very hot out here. Quite difficult to walk in this heat. Oh. I just want to get back quick as possible in the hotel.
trying to continue straight. Blue is the road. Blue is the route you need to follow. So just quickly show that. Yeah. So we follow the blue line, uh, and the green line is what is so what we. So when you're doing a route, it's basically green, and then when you set the route back, the original route becomes blue, and the green becomes the new route that follows the original route. If you know what I mean, I think it's really good in the sense that it's probably one of the most accurate GPS that we've experienced in the Galaxy watches so far. Combined with the stronger battery really fast and smooth process that you can see the dual band how accurate it is because it's, it's detecting instantly if you stopped or if you rotate if you move your position if you rotate it it's, it's following along with you that is really really good that's something um, i think in the past watches would have really struggled to keep up with i know um even the watch 5 Sometimes it would take a while before you sort of pick up your location again or if you move if you changed your path or you know you rotate it. But this one seems very instant. So we're here for one more day. So far we've been here for four days, right? Yeah. Or five days. Actually five. we've been here five days. Tomorrow is our last day here. We'll be heading off to Medina. We'll be in Medina for three days and then we'll head off to Egypt for the next following week. So we'll try to do as much as we can. Just to give you an idea of the features, I know one of the features, the action button, which is very impressive. We'll try to do a quick short video on the action button. Also, I know the flash, we're really impressed with the flash, particularly at night. Uh, it was very impressive, so we're, almost we're like we're flash. Almost... So here, as you can see, it's so bright. Well, bear, bear in mind, it's not on full brightness. It's only yeah. a half, just over half brightness. The watch has gone too. Um, it's, yeah, it's just over half, half brightness. So that's very impressive. And it's showing we're almost there now, look, 16 meters to our destination can and you see the showing blue flag? we need to go slightly left left yeah so yeah we'll so as you can yeah. see this is the entrance to our hotel so let's let's go and then we'll see which we say so slightly bearing destination. left it's there yeah almost there, straight line now yep we'll see if it tells us if we've reached once we get there is the volume high up uh, I can't check now. anyway we'll see when we get there uh, if we hear it or whether okay we're almost there Look, let's just show you again I think it's gone to always on now. Uh, yeah, look, you can, as you've seen, the crossing is flashing. There, almost there. Seven meters, five meters. Actually, seven meters. Ah, it's done. There we go. So that's it, we've reached our destination. So it says, look. Completed, route completed. So we saved that route by the way as a track pack test because we had several other routes saved on the watch. So now we can have a better look at the screen and what it's showing. So route completed and it's really really good. I'm really impressed. Time is now 6 minutes past 8 in the morning. So we've done our route. I mean it wasn't a very complicated uh, route that we used but we, we, but we don't know this area so for us is new it could have been anything yeah um, but it's a good good test of how the watch um, works in terms of its GPS functions and route tracking features um, hope this demonstrates that how um, how it works what do you think um, it would be interesting to hear your views on what you thought but definitely the GPS connection is so instant picks up really quick it knows when you stopped and it sort of also knows when you moved your position, so it kind of repositions the, the map, rotates it like, it's really good, really sh really sharp and quick. I mean, I've never experienced this in any of the watches before. So I'm really, really impressed about that. Yeah, it was completed and um, I guess, what are the options now? If I tap on this. So we started at 6.25 and it's now eight something. Yeah, and also just to say. That's one hour, 35, 40 minutes, one hour, 40 minutes. So you can, you can see the route, um, the green. So initially it was the blue line. And then as we turned back, it was the green line. And as you can see, we followed the route, just like the watch showed us. And we're and we done. And Let's see the battery, how much battery yeah, it took and, up and for again, if you one want hour, 40 minutes. Zoom in, zoom out, it's fine. So let's just go. Um, get out of here actually and see what so battery is now at 42 percent 42 percent we started off at 61 61 and it yeah. was uh what 630 625 24 624 
624 okay so and now the time is what um the time, time is, is here, uh, yeah, 10 past 8. Yeah, just about just to yeah. 10 past 8. 9 past 8, so, yeah. So, so that's, that's how long? 1 hour 35, almost 40, 1 hour 40 minutes. 1 hour 40 minutes. And so how much battery has it taken? 60, 40, 50, 60, 20, 19, 19%. 18, so, so the route each way would have been around 18 minutes. But we stopped um, at the cafe for a while. So the GPS was still running, yeah, pausing, was, waiting for yeah, us. Yeah, he was just paused and was waiting for us to get ready again. So he was using up the GPS and the battery, obviously. And 41%. So um, that's 20% for considering he was doing um, route tracking as well as uh, track back. I think and that's quite running everything else at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I think that's quite impressive. The um, GPS was paused while we were having coffee and drink. I think it's quite impressive uh, this, this this data. Um, don't know what you guys think, but definitely I think on a f obviously people are likely to do longer walks. I think this watch could definitely t do several hours of, of GPS without any problem. I mean, we've done one and a half, one, nearly two hours here now, of 20 yeah. minutes minus two hours nearly, yeah. and it's only taken what 20% battery. Yeah. Yeah, 20%. So um, it is more. Maybe maybe it's a bit maybe it's a bit heavy. But there's a lot of stuff running. Don't forget, this is a smartwatch uh, as well. There's lots of stuff running in the back. Constant notification as well. Notifications yeah. coming in, complications, everything. But yeah, it's quite impressive. Uh, definitely, I mean, if the battery is on a full charge, you could go on a long, long walk or a run or whatever exercise you're doing with the GPS or route track. Uh, and I think I think you'll manage fine. But that's our test anyway. So, um, let us know what you think of the watch and the GPS test and how you feel and how well you think the watch done. Um, this is our first trip to Saudi and what an incredible view and the weather here. Um, extremely hot uh, but still we're coping well. Anyway, um, I hope you found the video helpful and useful in making your decision about the watch if you're considering buying it. Please do stay tuned for more uh, updates and videos especially the action button. I action know that's button. There are other features, the torch, the yeah. screen brightness again, and, and lots of other other features that this watch has. Or just general general performance. Um, yeah, we'll we'll cover. There's quite we'll do cover we'll still. do more smaller videos um, just to cover uh, little bits and pieces that we think are very interesting and helpful. Um, just to let you know, we've got the fold as well. We'll do videos on that when we get back. It's so the GPS is still running. I'm just going to stop it now um, okay. because we're done. Completely. So let's finish this walk completely. And just to give you a summary of of that, don't forget because we stopped, it's only showing the route back now. It's not showing the full full route here. But it's about to, this one's 20 minutes, 10 seconds long, and it's done 1,890 steps. How many kilometers? Uh, sorry, calories. 120 calories it burned. Speed of our pace. Heart rate again in the hard zones. So for 15:50 we were on zone two, two minute 20 seconds zone one. We didn't really hit. It. Uh, we did hit briefly zone did, three. Um, I must say we did walk faster because of the heat we and the sun the coming out. Well. And we were running. Running we were crossing the road. the road. So that might be why we went to the, uh, zone three. Zone three, yeah. And the VO max is showing us good. Sweat loss. I, I don't really understand it. I guess if um, you can, actually, you can, it tells you what yeah. it is. Um, also, when we were doing the first walk, I think the sweat loss was less than compared to now when the sun's out. So I think, I yeah, 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 because it's 226 now. And, fi and yeah, there. and finally you've got your map again. You can see, and you, you can save this route. You can redo this route again if you wanted to. You can import other GPX routes, which is brilliant. Uh, by the way, because um, we stopped the route uh, before we done the track back, we actually uh, done the uh, saved the route and then done the uh, track back. Yeah, yeah. So what yeah. we did was we 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 saved the route from the watch from on the phone, and then we re import we imported that. Uh, not imported but when you save it, <coughs> you automatically save it under the routes. But um, so you've got choice of routes, and also you can download new routes from. From Google Map and other places, so that's really it's an amazing feature to have. Really, you can import GPX files um, of any route. If you're planning, say, uh, you want to do a particular route you want to cover, 
you know, and you don't know the route very well, you can you can start by following that route, um, which is really great. You can follow, and you know, you've got that route there. But all in all, um, quite impressive so far. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, do stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.